Okay, welcome everyone to another episode of the Intellectual Saviors of Wrestling with your hosts, the Master of the Brain Damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. And this is your <clears throat> Roadblock 2016 preview and predictions. Damn, man, you, you, you forgot the second part. That <laughs> sucks. WWE Roadblock. End of the line. <laughs> Why is it end of the line? I mean, well, hopefully it will be an end to some of these bloody feuds that have been going on for months on end. No, they just <laughs> no feud ever ends. They just stop them temporarily. <laughs> well, stop them already. I've had enough of some of it. Right, well, let's kick off with our pre-show that's oh, actually no. already been announced. It's a miracle. I don't believe it. <laughs> God, they're, they're very heated, very personal, very physical rivalry oh, between Big Cass and Rusev. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, this match is basically Cass standing up for his good friend Enzo. Yeah. Who got beaten up in a hotel room. <laughs> Maybe Rusev is finally going to get the certified G. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, this match was made on Raw this week. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, prediction. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I guess Cass... <laughs> Simply because I think if booked right, he could be a new Big Show. Yeah. A better Big Show. Mm. More athletic Big Show. <laughs> I think in terms of storyline, Rusev winning makes absolutely no sense. Considering he's won every time so far anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah let's, let's go with Big Cass. Getting the big W over yeah. him. With the Empire Elbow. Oh. The big elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and uh, moving on to the main card. Did they, is there a tag title match on this show? There is! There is! There is! We've got your new longest reigning tag team champions. Yeah. The New Day against... Guinness and bar fights. <laughs> Guinness and bar fights. <laughs> oh. I'm, of course, talking about the newly found bond between Cesaro and Sheamus. Cesaro. They've been dubbed. I prefer Guinness and bar fights. <laughs> um, I, th- I think the new day's going over. Yeah, I'm still not convinced by the whole Seamus Cesaro thing, so yeah, new day. Yeah. There will come a time where a team's going to beat them, but mm, I can't see this one being it. Uh, to be honest, I'd prefer it if it was Gallows and Anderson. Would make sense. Or maybe Enzo and Cass. Yeah, uh, they haven't done that rivalry before. Maybe. Could be interesting. So, and then our next match, we've got a singles match with a 10 minute time limit. Yeah, always do this. Between Braun Strowman and the underdog from the underground, Sami Zayn. Yes, let's go. Yeah, um, obviously this match, again, was made on Raw (laughs) after a lot of crap for about a month, month and a half. Yeah, I'm I'm still wondering why this match is still going on. It's a complete mismatch. It doesn't need a yeah. guy any favours. Well, and the point is, you know, at the end of the day, wh- where are they going with Braun Strowman? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're not exactly giving him bigger people, are they? <laughs> no, you know, oh, I don't know, for a couple of weeks, I don't know, have him beat Mark Henry and Big Show or something. Yeah. Give him a few wins over those old turds. Yeah, I'm I'm completely in agreement with you though. Victory for either guy doesn't really do anything <laughs> for either of them. Um, <sighs> uh, 
I know who I'd like to win this match, but I think purely from a business sense of views and sort of where they possibly may go with it in the future, I think I'm going to have to go with Wonder Brawn in this. Yeah, as much as I would hate to say it, and I do hate to say it, but really, Braun Strowman has to win. Because I'm the biggest Sami Zayn fan around, but him winning this just makes no sense. No. I mean, they're building up this whole, oh, no one can stop Braun Strowman thing. And if Sami Zayn pins him, that's like, that's it. Dead. Done. Yeah, Over. yeah. That's it, you know. I mean, ideally, I, I don't know if I'd like to watch the match, but, you know, in a idealistic way... Of looking at it, you, you got to sort of like look at either like the universal champion or I don't know Roman Reigns or even Lesnar beating him, yeah. sort of thing. You know, that's where it should ideally sort of end. But God, he's got a way of balls and this things up. And that happens quite often. Uh, yeah. Look like at Rusev. Oh, yeah, that went well. <laughs> he was in a title match only two months ago. Yeah. Now he's in a heated rivalry with Enzo Amore. <laughs> Good one. So, next match. It's the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match. Ah. You've got the outlandish Rich Swan. He's pretty outlandish. Versus... Mega Man, uh, I mean, TJ Perkins. Mega TJP, the Duke of Dab. <laughs> I'll blame Moro for that. <laughs> and the man with a plan, <laughs> the Brian Kendrick. We're not quite sure what the plan is, but yeah, apparently he's got it. If it's bringing out colourful flags, then yep, he's got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what are our thoughts on this match? Well, I think this could be match of the night if given enough time. It's got potential too, yeah. you got three quality cruiserweights. You know, Rich is the entertainment, TJ sort of brings the athleticism, and Brian brings the brains. Uh, not to mention, Rich has also got the dance moves. Yeah, <laughs> and no one can handle him. Except for maybe No Way Jose. Yeah. No. For, for, for dance moves anyway. Can't beat the Dominican fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I still think they're finding their feet with the Cruiserweight division. They don't really yeah. know tremendously what to do with it yet. Yeah, no. I'm, uh, I agree with you there. The 205 Live is helping. Mm. So... Simply because I want to see a longer title reign, I would say Swan retains. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see one hold it, I don't know, two, three months or something before they lose it. We've had, well, we're on to a third or fourth champion. Third, third, third champion already, and the Cruiserweight title got brought in September? Mid September, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going with the outlandish winning. Swan retains, and probably with a spinning heel kick to both of them. Hmm. So, and then next we've got our oh, first ever thirty-minute Iron Man match for the women's championship. Hmm. Got the champion Sasha Banks versus. Charlotte. Yes. Now, this was, like you said earlier, it was seeing certain rivalries finished. This is one I would quite like to see finished. I think I'm starting to get to the point where I don't care who wins, <laughs> just be over with it already. <laughs> like, <laughs> this has been going on for what, six to eight months? Yeah. If, well, if you think, oh, what is it? Royal Rumble. When Shark defended the then Divas title against uh, Becky Lynch. Yeah. That was when Sasha Banks came out and 
Jesus, really? February <laughs> it's begun on since ten fucking months. WWE. Yeah, and ever since then they've been back and forth, back and forth. You had the whole WrestleMania thing. Ten bloody months, and they fought. I think the last four pay per views. You know, uh, no discredit to the two women involved, but I think I'd even get bored of it with that time scale, even if it was Rock and Austin. Just liven it up a tiny bit, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. It's, I don't know. I think it should have been over at Hell in a Cell. Back in the old yeah. day, Hell in a Cell was the feud ender. Yeah. And they had Hell in a Cell, and they still fighting. <laughs> It's like, god damn, what more can you do to each other? Yeah. Now, obviously, you've got it with uh, Charlotte and a undefeated uh, pay-per-view record. True. I'm in, I'm in so many minds on this match. One mind, I don't, I don't care. I just want the feud to be over. But then at the same time, going on discussions we've had in the past, Charlotte's already a four-time women's champion. Yeah. And that's in the space of a year. Just over a year. Yeah. Yet you've got legends of the industry like Lita, Trish Stratus. Yeah. Even, you know, you go back, Moolah, Mae Young and... Alundra Blaze and that, you know, they, some of them didn't even have, didn't even have three title, no. three title runs, and yet Charlotte's had this ridiculous amount in the space of just over a year. Yeah, I think it's what, three women's titles and a divas title. Yeah, possibly four. Yeah, just. Well, I've shot it. I, I mean, I, I hope she wins it, but just purely for not yet another bloody title change and yet another ridiculous title reign, I'm hoping Sasha retains. Yeah. I mean, I, I like Charlotte's work in the ring, but I don't want her to add another title reign yet. No. Because she's only been on the main roster for just over a year, a year and four months, I think it is. And at this rate, she will catch Ric Flair's record for title reign if she keeps on. <laughs> if, if they keep switching them back and forth. Yeah. But, you know, if they want to keep this whole pay per view thing going, because they want to do the whole Charlotte v. Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. Which is not the best idea in the world, but I was thinking the other day. Is that maybe one of the terms that they slid in there when they let Lesnar go back to the UFC for that match? That... <laughs> That's a conversation for another time, but you're not going to be seeing Lesnar in the UFC anytime soon. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I hope Sasha wins, but... I can see Charlotte winning at the same time. Yeah, these both options are conceivable. Sorry, I'm going with Sasha. What are you going with? Sasha as well. All right. Simply because I don't want to see Charlotte with another title reign yet. At some point, yeah, she can have it back. Just, just not yet. Not yet. Yeah. What's next? Well, we've got arguably. The most entertaining bloke of the year. We've got Y2J, Chris Jericho, against Seth Rollins. Oh, this could also be match of the night. Very possibly. Given enough time, they could pull something out of the bag. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've discussed this in the past. Jericho's work this year has been outstanding. Probably his best year in a very long time. Unfortunately, it is slowly coming to a close. Uh, the current talk is at the minute, probably around Mania, he's going to be disappearing and he's uh, going to be doing his stuff with uh, Fozzie and that, not to mention uh, 
they've got European dates in uh, June and July time and that. I think they've got a few festivals on the horizon as well. So, um, yeah, like you say, this should be a really good match and could possibly steal, steal the show. Um, but I think for storyline purposes and it making sense, I think uh, Seth's got to go over in this one. Yeah, well, I mean, it would only it makes sense because Seth's beaten him like four times in the last month. Not to mention, not to mention how generous Jericho is for putting over the younger talent. I mean, for Christ's sake, he put over Fandango at WrestleMania. Yeah, and then went on record about how much of a disappointment Fandango was <laughs> after that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Should be a really good match, but Rollins should be going over in this one. Yeah, Rollins wins with a pedigree, and hopefully Triple H will make an appearance at some point. Yeah, or, or I'm thinking he turns up at Rumble and eliminates Rollins out of the Rumble. He could, yeah, he did it last year. Uh, no one saw it coming, apart from me. <laughs> Yeah. So, yep, yeah, Seth wins. Right. And now the main event. Yeah. Champion v. Champion. I'm trying not to sound harsh here, but I'm going to go on record and say this is not going to be potential match of the show. No. Because, unfortunately, WWE are crap with their booking of Roman Reigns. Yes, we've slated Roman Reigns in the past, but we've not slated him for his wrestling ability or how good or not good it is. But it's just purely because of how poorly he's booked. And you know for a fact, regardless of the outcome of this match, he's going to get beat up for about 10, 15 minutes, and then he's going to have his Superman comeback moments. Yeah, he's going to be taking some high-risk moves here. Yeah, but unfortunately, WWE have gotten into this mindset of booking Roman like Cena. Which is completely wrong. And it's... Well, that is one of the reasons why it's led to the fans booing Roman so heavily. Yeah. Because they're like, we don't want another Cena. No, we, we've we still got Cena. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, not that he's on telly all that much because he's got other commitments outside of wrestling, even though he was slagging off The Rock and uh, other people for being part-time wrestlers, but we won't go down that oh, road. <laughs> oh, no, no, M- Mr. First to arrive and last to leave. <laughs> yeah, that's been the case recently, hasn't it? Uh, that's another yeah. conversation for another time. <laughs> But, you know, back to Roman, it's... I know I don't like his booking. He is a good wrestler. He can go. Yeah. I mean, earlier in the year, he had two outstanding matches with AJ Styles. Yeah. But, of course, people will say anyone can have an outstanding match with AJ Styles. Yeah, yeah. And, I don't know. I don't think the fans are booing him. They're booing the perceived Superman booking. Yeah, let's yeah, say. yeah. Yeah, um, well, I'm biased in this one. You know how much I love KO, so I'm expecting him to uh, retain, if yeah. I'm being honest. I can't see Roman walking out with two belts, so I would say KO to retain as well. And a quick note for you bookers at the WWE. Here's an idea for you. Have him defend the title at Royal Rumble. Ooh. <laughs> We, we haven't had a US title match in two or three months now. No, no, we had one last week. He defended against Jericho, oh. if you remember. Oh, I, at a pay-per-view then. No, no, they got around that one. Because I was thinking that whole 30-day rule thing. I was like, yeah. how are they going to keep it up with him not defending the title while going for another title? Yep. Yeah. No, they were sneaky. They slid that US title match in there uh, just to shut the, the skeptics up. Yeah. So, and uh, that's the whole of the card for Roadblock. Yeah. I'm not expecting great things from it, but no, some of the matches should be entertaining. There's a couple of surprise matches in there that could steal the show. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, wait and see what we're treated to Sunday night. Over to you, Dodo. Let's see what you can do. 
Én ezt hát az mag, ez oly zenekti. Ó, oh. Orfeus, Fajos. Sorry, Vince. Total non-stop deletion! <laughs> <laughs> Right. And on that broken ending. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's good night from me. <laughs> and it's good night from him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Adios.